To navigate a job interview successfully requires that you maintain a careful balance between showcasing your skills with confidence and displaying genuine humility. You see, confidence speaks volumes about your belief in your abilities you know, and your ability to take on the role. However, it's equally important to convey that you're open to learning and growing. I mean, you don't want to walk into a job interview you know, saying that you know everything. I mean, no one knows it all. And companies appreciate candidates who, who have that level of humility to acknowledge that. Additionally, companies want to hire people into roles with room for growth. So you don't want to go in there, you know, saying that I know everything and that there's nowhere to grow. I mean, if you know everything there is to, to know about a role, then how are you going to grow? I mean, if they were to hire you into it, you'd get bored and you'd quit. So they want to leave some kind of room in there for you to grow. I mean, if you have the raw talent and the skills and the experience and you meet, you know, 80 to 90% of the job requirements, then that shows that there's room for growth, which means the job will be a challenge for you, which means you'll have to push yourself in the role, which means you're likely to get more fulfillment from your work than, you know, if your job just fails to push you to grow at all. And one strategy I'd like to use to show that, you know, I'm willing to take on new things is where, you know, I talk about a situation, you know, where I learned from a mistake or I faced a steep learning curve and I had to overcome something. You see, this demonstrates your ability to overcome challenges and your willingness to learn, grow and adapt. Remember, confidence might get you noticed and, and you definitely want to walk in there with confidence but humility makes you memorable. So before you go into your next job interview, think about how you're going to be able to grow into this role. I mean, look at the job description, see where they're at. Now, if, you're only, if you only know 50% of what's on the job description, then that creates quite a large gap for you to have to fill. But if you go into a job interview where you meet like, you know, 80%, of what's in the job description, then you have 20% room for growth, which is ideal. And like I said, employers don't wanna hire people who know everything for the, for the job because then it really just ends up being a lateral move for them. And sometimes, sometimes they do this. And then they usually put people into roles where they get bored quickly and then they quit. And employers don't wanna hire people into those kinds of roles. And you really shouldn't wanna go into one of those kinds of roles anyways. I mean, making a lateral move into a role where you know everything, like I said, you're just gonna get bored and you're gonna to wanna to move on. And what's the point? Now, it's one thing if you don't already have a job and you're looking to kind of replace the job that you had, um, but I would still urge you to look for room, look, look for roles that still have some level of growth in it for you because that also makes you more attractive to the employer. I mean, think about it. This, this might sound, you know, counterintuitive, but if the employer, you know, gets down to, you know, let's say they have three people and one person, um, they only know 50% of the role. The second person, you know, they know 100%. They know everything about it. And then the third person knows about 80% they're more likely to take the person who only knows 80% of the role because they have the most room for growth, which means they're going to last longer in that role because they have room to grow, the role is going to fulfill them, and they're going to have to push themselves to grow. And that's how they can, you know, that's one way to edge out your competition is by, you know, like I said, giving yourself a little bit of room to grow. So that, my friend, that, that's all I have for you in the short one today. But to help you grow on your next interview, head on over to jobinterviewtools.com. I want you to grab this book. This is the top 10 interview questions, and these are going to get you prepared for your next role. It's got questions like, tell me about yourself. Why do you want to work here? Um, you know, what are your greatest strengths and things like that. And it goes into detail about, you know, what to say, how to build your answer, how to construct it so that you're, you're framing it in the way that your interviewer is going to, uh, you know, to, uh, get the most out of it, I guess. Um, but anyway, you can get this from jobinterviewtools.com slash top 10. Just put in your name, email address, tell me where to send it. I'll get it right out to you. Now, it also has about 14 questions in here that you might want to ask your interviewer. Having questions to ask your interviewer is really huge. I mean, most people go into a job interview and they don't ask any questions. They're like, well, I didn't really have anything to say. And the signal that you're sending to your employer, or not your employer, but your interviewer, is that 
you're not really interested in the role because anybody who's interested in that job is going to have questions to ask. And I have 14 of them in here that you might want to ask. Only ask them if they make sense to you. And as with everything in this book, if, if the answer or something I say doesn't really apply to you, doesn't make sense, then change it. Change it so it fits you, so that you don't just come off with you know some kind of cookie cutter answer. You want to walk in there with an answer that is going to be representative of you and your goals and what you're looking for and what you're about, not what I, what's in Don's book. So like I said, the, the, the answers in here are meant to kind of just give you some guidelines to help you build your answers so that you sound unique. And then the questions in here are designed to just kind of spark your memory, to give you, to make you think of some questions that you might want to ask your interviewer. So that, my friend, that's all I have for you. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. It lets me know uh, that you are enjoying the type of content that I create. And, uh, you know, hey, uh, subscribe. And that way uh, you'll get notified every time I release a new video. I wish you all the best in your next interview, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.